Welcome to Wake Up to Wellness with Michelle Chrisman. And I'm so excited you guys are with us this morning. We're here to empower you to be healthy and well naturally for yourself, for your friends, your family, your children, and everybody within your life and relationships. The one thing that always makes me think about health is it's everywhere. Whether we want to have great, wonderful health that's abundant and constantly moving forward, or whether we don't even think about it and we take it for granted. See, many people, they look at their health like it's a constant, meaning if they feel good in this moment, everything's wonderful, and if they feel bad and sick, then something must be wrong. I constantly hear people walking around in the community or sitting behind their desks or just having casual conversations saying, oh, you know, I don't feel good. The bug's going around. You know, I caught it. I almost imagine like a catcher's mitt, like they're sitting there in their office and they've got their catcher's mitt on and bam, they caught the flu and bam, they got the bug and they got the virus. The reality is our body is so smart and intelligent It has a central nervous system, which literally allows the body to heal, function, coordinate, and control with every single organ, tissue, and cell in the body. The central nervous system was the first organ created when you were conceived. So how important do you think it is to your health? It literally sends the signals up to the brain, to the body, and back again, and out to every single organ, tissue, and cell in your whole entire system. That's where health starts, and it's also where it ends. And in today's world, we're coming upon more stresses than the body has the ability to adapt. Now, don't get me wrong. The body is so smart. If you accidentally paper cut that finger of yours, it's going to heal. You know, wash your hands, keep it clean. But it's not the Band-Aid, it's not the lotion, and it's not the ointment that you put on that cut that allows the healing. The body knows what to do naturally on its own. It's so smart that you don't have to think about your heart beating. It does it on its own. You don't have to think about your food digesting or your lungs doing their job. The body is so smart and intelligent. It's self-healing and it's self-regulating. But the stresses we're coming upon are way too much for us to even handle. We have three types of stresses. There's physical, chemical, and emotional. And for many people, this is easy to wrap their head around. And for others, it's kind of hard. But the body is so simple the way it functions and works. We have physical stresses, which are things such as sitting behind a desk for long hours at a time. And I ask you to think about this. How many of you sit behind a desk for anywhere between four to nine hours a day? And after that, you get on a train to come home and you sit for another hour or two, or maybe you ride in your car. And then we get home, we may make dinner, we may pick it up, but we also sit down again, whether it be on the sofa to watch TV, to play games, to do some homework, or this time of year, maybe to do taxes. So... Those are physical stresses. Physical stresses can also be events. Events are things that happen in a moment of time. Things such as car accidents. It's amazing what happens when thousands of pounds of metal come together and you're somewhere in between. And also many people will say to me, God, but you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. If you took a dime, like an actual dime and held it in the palm of your hands, that's how much weight that you need to create interference in your paraspinal nerves, which go to your organs, tissues, and cells. So think about falls. Those, again, are events. What about when you were a kid? Maybe you fell off a horse or out of a tree. See, those are examples of physical stresses. And many people think it was a physical stress that created a problem in their health, and it may have been. But you also have to start to think about chemical stresses. Chemical stresses are things such as the foods that we're eating. You know, the foods that we're eating for most people, they're really not good for us. If you went to the grocery store shelf, you would actually see, and I've been reading different studies on this, some are telling me there's 68% and some are telling me there's 80% of genetically modified foods in our foods in our grocery store shelves. So what does that mean? That means food. And you have to ask yourself, what does that do to your body? What are they putting into your foods 
that allow that bread to stay on the shelf for a month, maybe two months. You know, what are they putting in the milk that allows it to sit in that container for a few weeks as well? For many of us, we don't even think about that. I go to places to do workshops and talks, and I can't tell you how many times I see people reach into their company fridge or freezer and pull out a lunch or a dinner that's in a box, and they throw it into the microwave. And for many people, those packages say healthy, light, low fat, fat free, great for your health. Look at the labels. Do you pronounce and can you pronounce the food that's on there? And I ask you, what keeps that food allowing it to actually sit for all that time in a freezer without going incredibly bad? And then you put it in a microwave. The microwave does terrible things to your food. It breaks down the components of the food as well. So you go from bad to even worse. But for many people, that's their attempt of eating, having some good meals. Those are huge chemical stresses to the body. And for many people, they don't like to hear this, but medications, whether they're prescribed or not, and your medical doctor knows these are huge chemical stresses to the nerve system. Many medications are psychotropic drugs, which means they shrink the frontal lobe of the brains and harden the arteries to their heart. And for many people, you may be saying, but this is what's keeping me from having no symptoms. Well, the reality is, you have to ask yourself, are symptoms good or are symptoms bad? Symptoms are the body saying it is time to change. And in our culture, we're being taught that if we we're absolutely fine and healthy, and if we feel bad, we're sick. But that is such an upside down paradigm of what health really is. And at the end of the day, you have to start to ask yourself, do you want to continue to put a Band-Aid over top of something that really needs to be corrected or fixed? Or what about your smoke detector in your health house? Do you treat your health that way too? Many people, if the smoke detector goes off and there's not a real threat or fire or smoke alarm, sometimes in my house it's my husband baking homemade pizza from scratch, turns the oven too high and the alarms go off. Well, do you then get on a ladder and take down that smoke detector? Do you take the batteries out? Do you cut the cord so that you don't have the signal? So if God forbid you do have a fire, nobody would ever know? See, this is what so many people are doing with their health. They're literally cutting the signals, they're putting band-aids on top, and they're saying, let's do the best we can to ignore the symptoms because that's got to be the way to produce health. And I'm here to tell you that produces sickness and illness, and it's not just my point of view, but there's so much information that backs what I say. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, how important is your health to you? Emotional stresses are things such as financial stresses. Now I hear, which is so exciting, somebody in Baltimore, Maryland actually won the lotto, which I'm thrilled for them. Congratulations. It would be so exciting if we all won as well. But God, that's great. For him or her, the financial portion, it's really not that stressful anymore. Or they may be thinking, oh my God, I've won all this money. What do I do now? So at the end of the day, for many people, it is a financial stress. And emotional stress can be relationships. You know, what type of relationships are you in? The next is, what I always think about is work stress. You know, I love to work, but at the end of the day, does work bring good things into your life or does work bring you down or does it keep you somewhere in the middle? Do you look forward to and get so excited and passionate about actually showing up and doing something to change the world? And that's what you have to start to ask yourself. Between the physical, chemical, and emotional stresses, where do you stand? Are you abundantly healthy and vibrant in all of those areas? Are you lacking or falling down in the physical area, the chemical area, or the emotional area? Or are you falling apart in a little of each? At the end of the day, that gives you a great indication of the path your health is heading towards. We're going to actually talk about autism this show, which, you know, is a very controversial topic. A lot of the information out there, 
it just at the end of the day you walk away from it and say there's got to be a better way there has to be a better reason and a better explanation for many of you you know that dr chrisman and i we see so many children and families we've been doing this for the last 14 years have been so grateful and thankful for everybody that's walked into our lives but we also focus on children with learning differences in autism and i will tell you 14 years ago in practice children they're so amazing but they were not as sick as they are right now and a new study came out by the cdc which we're going to start to talk about and i want you to really start to think you know what stresses are going on in your life and are they adding to your family's health future or are they taking away and we're going to take a quick commercial break i can't wait to tell you the new cdc's information on the autism rates Chrisman Family Chiropractic, a creating wellness center located at 2310 Churchville Road, Sweet C in Bel Air, is enhancing lives through the power of a chiropractic adjustment. As a licensed chiropractor in Maryland and Pennsylvania, Dr. Evan Chrisman can correct damage from years of lifestyle stresses while educating you to maintain good health for your lifetime. A dedicated professional with a very special focus on children with learning differences and autism, Dr. Chrisman treats people of all ages, newborn babies, children, pregnant women, families, seniors, Seniors and professional golfers. Isn't it time for you to reclaim your life? Take your first step toward health and vitality today. Call Chrisman Family Chiropractic, a creating wellness center at 410-734-4060 and let their experienced staff show you how to restore the flow of life. 410-734-4060 or check them out at RestoreLifeFlow.com to wake up welcome back to wake up to wellness with michelle chrisman i'm so excited you guys are with us and we're going to be talking about autism the cdc two days ago came out with the new rates of autism and i want to take you back a little bit in the 1970s autism affected one in ten thousand children in the 1980s autism affected one in 250 children in the 1990s, autism affects one in close to 150 children. But as you get closer to now, which is 2012, autism is affecting, which the CDC states, one in 88 children. One in 88 children. And in both, even more than that. If you look at the state of Maryland, our autism rates are even higher. And I ask you to start to think to yourself, Many people, especially if you read the news in the papers, they will say to you, their big tagline is, but there's better, there's a better ability to decipher and figure out what autism is and who has it. At the end of the day, if you really look at the research, which I have, there are two conclusions. One study that I looked at says that 20% of the actual outcomes of better research, better preventative maintenance plays a role. The next study I read was one in 50, a little less than one in 50. So if you really look at the numbers, it's not better prevention. That only plays for between 20 to less than 50% of what's happening. The real question is, even if we have better diagnostic, diagnostic criteria, at the end of the day, we still have a problem. At the end of the day, we have children that are absolutely fabulous. And it reminds me of Einstein. You know, Einstein was such a smart, intelligent person. But if he grew up in today's world, he would have been considered. And it shudders in my mind to think that he would have also been put on what most kids are being put on, psychotropic drugs. And many parents love to tell us, but they're just on a small dose. Well, let me tell you something. Small dose, big dose, medium dose, we're still medicating our children. And at the end of the day, there has to be a better answer. The autism spectrum, it goes everywhere from ADHD to Asperger's syndrome, to PDD, NOS, autism, psychologically, behaviorally defined from communication, stereotypical behavior, and social interactions. Many people will sit there and talk to me about genetics. They'll say, well, you know what? It's got to be genetic. 
Well, Harvard research studies show us genetics only play between a 15 and 20% role in our health. The rest is our lifestyle. And you have to start to think about this. You know, Dr. Gupta, he's a medical doctor, he came up with the conclusion that genes load the gun and the environment pulls the trigger. And for many people, they may say to themselves, what does that mean? Well, put it as simple as I can. If you heard the beginning of the show, we talked about physical, chemical, and emotional stresses. And I ask you, what's happening in your lifestyle? What are your physical stresses, your chemical stresses, and your emotional stresses? And see, they not only add up, but genetically speaking, if you go back, the researchers are telling us the choices and decisions we make today will affect our children seven years back, seven generations back. That's a long time, guys. The results of these toxicities, nutritional deficit, deficits, infections, inflammation, and immune dysfunction, they're creating massive problems. And if you take it even further and we start to talk about epigenetics, epigenetics, many people say, well, gosh, you know what? We have no choice in that. But the DNA of the cell, they are switched on and off like light switches, depending upon our lifestyle and the environment we're living in. If you spent time with Dr. Christman and I, you would know that we not only do our best to buy chemical-free organic meats, vegetables, and fruits, but we do our best to lead a lifestyle that produces health. The new science of epigenetics, and it's all over the major magazines. This one's from Time Magazine. It shows us and reveals that how the choices you make change your genes and change those of your kids. So what pulls the trigger and what changes the genes? There's a huge toxic bio burden increasing. That means that our neurotoxins or our heavy metals and biotoxins are alarmingly becoming such a huge increase in rate that our bodies cannot do the best job to get rid of it. You know, we're putting too much bad stuff into our system. Think about hormones, antibiotics, drugs, what other chemicals? You know, right now, many people are using chemicals to get rid of the weeds. There's something really natural you can do. You can actually use vinegar. See, that wouldn't harm the environment. It also wouldn't hurt yourself. Think about this, putting all those chemicals on your yard. What's happening when your kids are running around and your dogs and your animals? Also, and this is a really tough topic, but many people for vaccinations, when I do talks, if you bring that word up, some people, they sit there, they want to learn and listen, and other people just turn off. And I completely understand that. But vaccination rates, they're increasing massively. And if you follow what's happening right now, the states are doing everything they can to take away parental rights from giving you the decision as to whether or not you can decide to vaccinate your child. At the end of the day, the real question is, is this creating another huge neurotoxic chemical stress to the central nervous system. And if you look up Dr. Wakefield's research, it's amazing the information he comes up with. What we're talking about is 49 doses of 14 vaccines before age six, up to 12 vaccines possible at one visit. And that's per NVIC.org. That's a great place you guys can go and learn even more. It's www. Dot nvic dot org. The modern nutrition, I just call it SAD. S-A-D, it stands for the Standard American Diet. And I ask you, is your nutrition SAD or is it exceptional? And for many people, if we followed them around on a daily basis, we would walk away going, oh my God, is that what you're really eating? Well, you have to think, Food is fuel for your body. If you're putting subpar fuel into your system, how do you expect your health to grow? The ability for our bodies to detoxify, they are absolutely decreasing. And for many people, they may say, well, what does that matter? 
Well, see, if your body can't clean up and get rid of all the toxic stuff we're doing to it, it has no other choice but to break down and to break down rapidly. I almost imagine it too, if we were to, I don't know, it's sort of a, if we were to have a house, which I'm sure most of us have homes, and we decided, God, it's a new, gorgeous, beautiful home, but you know what? I don't have time to clean it today. And what if we went for the next, just cleaning here and there, but the next seven years not cleaning our house, really cleaning it? Don't you think that your house would slowly start to break down? Well, what are you doing to your bodies? See, are you setting your bodies up to be healthy and well? Are you putting good things into your system? Or are you absolutely ignoring it? In today's lifestyle, we have so many things going on that literally takes us away from the essential portion of keeping our lives clean. I call this the perfect storm. And the perfect storm comes together when we actually have a neurological interference. And remember, if we go back in the beginning of this show, your central nervous system is what you're living your life through. Literally controls every organ, tissue, and cell. And at the end of the day, many people completely disregard how important neurological connection to your brain is, and that's where health is coming from. We also have a huge toxic overload. I mean, think about the air we're breathing in. You know, the research is showing us that the homes we're living in are more toxic than the outside environment. Again, the foods we're putting in our system. And then modern nutrition. You know, so we look at the neurological breakdown, the toxic overload, and the modern nutrition, and we get a health and a body that is simply breaking down. For many people, they miss that the main system that is allowing the body to do its job, which I've said probably five times during the show, is the central nervous system. It was the first organ created when you guys were conceived. It literally controls the development of every other system and organ in your body. It allows regulation. It allows for life. It allows for us to experience and express everything that we do. It controls all functioning and it controls healing. See, if the central nervous system can't do its job, we have no other choice but the body to break down. So I ask you, who are you seeing to take care of your central nervous system? And the only doctor of chiropractic out there that actually is educated to take care of your central nervous system, and you guessed it, I already said, was the doctor of chiropractic. You have so many wonderful providers in your neighborhood all throughout the world. Please take advantage of them. They keep that neurological system working at its most optimal level of health and vitality so you can be well. Many people also don't even think about their spine. The central nervous system is actually protected by bone. There's 24 movable vertebrae. There are discs that work as shock absorbers. And if that whole system can function, it's supposed to be from the frontal view really nice and straight. From the side, we're supposed to have really nice arcs and curves. But for many people, if you bring them in and do x-rays, you will see in the cervicals, which is hugely important, not only for the body to function, for your ears, eyes, scalp, brain, and pituitary glands, but we're seeing in a lot of autistic children that they should be having a very nice C-curve shape in their neck or in their cervicals. We're seeing a lot of autistic children, they're having reverse cervical curves. That means the neck is straightening out. And you have to ask yourself if that's where you're thinking, if that's where your processing's coming from, your ability to think, to read, to write, to talk, and balance, if that central nervous system doesn't have the proper C-shaped uh, curve, then in turn, what do you think's happening to their central nervous system health? It's breaking down and the body can't send the signals to the brain. A lot of the autistic children that we see, we're so grateful and thankful to see, but we see amazing changes. You know, I've watched children that have come into our practice that can barely speak, they mumble, 
over time, a short period of time, they start seeing Dr. Chrisman, they start getting adjusted, their speech becomes crystal clear. You can hear every single word they say. I've seen children, their balance is so off, if they were to walk from me to four feet away, they would fall over. But I've watched after Dr. Chrisman adjusting these children, they have perfect balance. They can walk. You know, at the end of the day, I've seen more amazing changes in these children's health than you could ever imagine. But at the end of the day, what we're really doing is turning that central nervous system back on so the body can heal. That is where health comes from. And then we start to change the physical, chemical, and emotional stresses. We really start to delve into that and actually begin to think to ourselves that there's a possibility not only for abundant life, but for healing. And so I ask you to not only start to think about the lifestyle that you're leading, what are you eating, how are you moving, what stresses are going on, but see, all things that are good and worth it, they all start from planning. They all start from saying, this is where I am right now, this is where I wanna be, and this is how I'm gonna get there. And I ask you to please think about what is your family's health plan? And really break down, what are you feeding your family? You know, what activities are you, your family's doing? Or are they just sitting in front of a TV? Or are they just playing video games? You know, I also ask you to think about this, emotional stresses. You know, are you leading a good life? Or when you wake up in the morning, your life's more stressful and you can't sleep in the evening. See, it all adds together as a unit. When we make good choices, we set a plan for our health and our wellness, we have no other choice but for abundance to occur in every area of our life. We're gonna take a very quick commercial break because I wanna leave you with some amazing things to think about. And I'm very grateful and thankful for you and for your family and the possibility of growing health in your life. Chrisman Family Chiropractic, a creating wellness center located at 2310 Churchville Road, Sweet C in Bel Air, is enhancing lives through the power of a chiropractic adjustment. As a licensed chiropractor in Maryland and Pennsylvania, Dr. Evan Chrisman can correct damage from years of lifestyle stresses while educating you to maintain good health for your lifetime. A dedicated professional with a very special focus on children with learning differences and autism, Dr. Chrisman treats people of all ages, newborn babies, children, pregnant women, families, seniors, seniors, and professional golfers. Isn't it time for you to reclaim your life? Take your first step toward health and vitality today. Call Chrisman Family Chiropractic, a creating wellness center at 410-734-4060 and let their experienced staff show you how to restore the flow of life. 410-734-4060 or check them out at RestoreLifeFlow.com. Welcome back to Wake Up to Wellness with Michelle Chrisman. I'm so excited you guys are with us. We have been spending this time frame not only talking about your health, talking about autism, the CDC numbers and rates, but also how you can grow your health and move towards an even better path. Next week, we have some amazing guests on. We're having Dr. Dean DePice, who has been a doctor for the last 20 some years, practices with his wife, has a fabulous, fabulous, not only amazing information and education that could just flat out change the way you view and see your health, but he also is a just wonderful guy. He has the most wonderful values, intelligent human being, and I'm just gonna be so honored to be able to interview him. I want you to really step back and take a moment and really think about your health, develop a plan, and at the end of the day, if you really need help, if you have children with learning differences in autism and you want to see neurologically where they stand, please give my husband a call, Dr. Evan R. Chrisman. He's been a wellness chiropractor for the last 14 years, and our focus has been on families, children, newborns, pregnant women and children with learning differences in autism. And I ask you to spend the time study, research. 
you know, do the hard work or the heavy lifting and really look up the information. Empower yourself with all the great information that's out there to get you well. Another great site, which I told you about earlier, is nvic.org. That's nvic.org. Absolutely amazing group. And I want to thank you for listening. Please tune in to Wake Up to Wellness with Michelle Chrisman live every Saturday from 8.30 till 9 a.m. on WAMD, WYRE, WKHZ, and KHZTV.com. And remember, you are worth the investment in your health, and so are your children. And have a gorgeous, gorgeous day.